much for being here. I know it was a really stressful week. And I just have to say, Ragu, you made me laugh so hard when you said that you and your wife don't go to sleep if you're angry. <laughs> oh my God, because my husband and I, we did that and we're divorced. <laughs> oh, and I know it's been a stressful week with the election and everything, but my hair is really bothering me. It is so flat, you guys, that my titties are really happy. Now they're second. <laughs> and I don't know. I was so stressed out. And I do sometimes take it out on myself. Like, have you, have you ever put scissors up to your bangs and you go, <laughs> oh my God, I should really lower the scissors. And don't you just go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did after the election. And I'm like, oh my God, now I have fuck it bangs. <laughs> 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 and I'm originally from Buffalo, New York, and everything that they say about Buffalo is totally true. <laughs> we are the home of the Buffalo style chicken wings, beef on weck, and happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> and happy hour. <laughs> the Buffalo audience are so nice, even when their toes are frostbitten. Thank you, happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, um, you know, there's some comics. I've been, I did this one open mic or live mic, I should say. We were in person, socially distanced. And these comedians were dissing the whole Zoom co comedy show. And I'm thinking, wow, you're an idiot. Because <laughs> I can go from my chair to my bed and I won't get a DUI. <laughs> uh, no, nothing has changed for me in this pandemic. My ever since I moved to LA, my bank account has always been in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> and eight months ago, I prayed for God to get me out of catering. <laughs> yeah. I to work from home. <laughs> I didn't mean send the whole world home. <laughs> <laughs> and Trump thinks the Chinese were the ones that started the pandemic. I'm like, no, you dumbass. It was my prayers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, and if you don't believe that my <laughs> prayers have power, guess what happened? Remember when we opened up a little while ago, a little bit? Well, I got into my own personal panic. So I prayed again for God to not let me go back to catering. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later, I broke my wrist. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. I decided I'm not going to say another prayer to God about keeping me out of catering because I'm afraid that I could go from COVID to cast to casket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that would suck because being in a casket would be really cold. <gasps> yeah, because I'm from <laughs> Buffalo and oh my God, I forgot how cold cold really is <laughs> like i've turned into such a pansy ass living in la so no offense <laughs> chat but anyway <laughs> <laughs> man my ovaries left the dock and i have no i can't control my my mouth okay so um last christmas i went home for the holidays and my nieces were like, and squeeze y'all, let's go sledding. I'm like, oh, okay. Go. <laughs> I go running out. Oh my God, there's gonna be crit. <laughs> I got my lips froze to my teeth. Oh. Uh-huh. Then I heard these two sounds. Shh, shh. Those were the sound of my eyelashes and nose hairs when they froze. <laughs> <laughs> So I looked at my nieces and I said, ah, 
I need a whiskey. <laughs> I got a thought yeah. out. They were like, see, I told you Aunt Squeeze you couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband and I, Rego, you're going to like this. We got <laughs> married for all the right reasons. He was a really hot Italian fiance. And he served me his best cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> and we were married for 10 years. Happy for one. <laughs> <laughs> because after one year of marriage, he took his cannoli off the menu. Oh. <laughs> My husband was like Trader Joe's. He sold me something and then he stopped selling it. <laughs> and I asked him what the problem was and he said, Keisha, you're too available. <laughs> so I made myself unavailable. I divorced him. <laughs> oh, no. And then I found out that he got remarried on Facebook. <laughs> and then I found out on Instagram, he got divorced again. <laughs> now I'm just waiting for Twitter to tell me he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> and when I called my dad to tell him that my ex got divorced again, he said, oh, well, now we know it wasn't you. <laughs> I know it really sucks not being a daddy's girl. And that's why, <laughs> that's why I have two therapists. One's a man, one's a female. And I just pretend they're my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm enough. <laughs> And uh, my therapist, Jim, the man shrink, he told me that I had penis envy. Hmm. And I was like, Jim, that is a really dumb thing even for you to say. <laughs> and then I thought about it and I went, oh, right. I remember when I was younger, my brothers and I would go sledding in Buffalo, New York in three feet of snow and the nearest toilet was a mile away. So my brothers whipped out their little tally whackers and start peeing their initials <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> and they would go, na 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 na, Keisha can't do this. Na 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 na. Yeah, because I was busy copping a squat, trying not to pee on my snowsuit while my bare naked ass was getting frostbitten. <laughs> so yeah, Jim, I do have a little bit of penis envy, but it's seasonal. <laughs> Thank you guys, that's my time, have fun. Woo!